Hi, now I am going to show you how to tie a very easy pattern. I call it la petite merde. Why that? Because it covers different imitation. It can be like a small sage or a small diptera. This is a theory 63, 64, 65 and 66. So we are going to tie the MP65 now. And actually, uh, you can find all the patterns that I've been creating in that book. And what is quite interesting is uh, on the bottom of the page, you can find on this side all the tools requested to tie this fly. But on the other side, you can find all the material requested for the same flies. So let's go and start. So you use the tying thread, the black tying thread. So you tie the thread in first. And then you will go at the beginning of the curve of the hook. Then you use one of those dark color that you will bring up to the end and you wind up this way. And using the special plier for CDC, you will be able to twist and wrap around the hook shank that way to create the body shape when it start to be out of the bend you can put the vise up again so you few wraps to secure the feather and few wraps to secure the thread you probably noticed that I leave a small amount of the uh, feather that I've been that I will use for the thorax at the end. So I trim the ex excess. I prepare uh, maybe two feather will be enough to do the job. So I go like this, like this to collect the fibers out of the stems. I repeat the same procedure. I remove uh, the not so nice uh, feather for uh, that at the very beginning when I've got enough I bring them together and in order to have them straight I just trim them and tie the wings in the same time so that's it a few wraps and the remaining section of the feather will cover and make the thorax So a few wraps to secure the feather and few wraps to secure the thread. So I trim it off and then use the whip finish just to secure the tying. So one and another one like this and the work is done. So. The only thing we have to do now is to adjust the length. I would say yes. For that size, I will probably use it that way. Then I just check what is too much under because I like very much when it goes um, on the surface of the water and that is good. Easy.